So welcome people of God. So I want to release over you a really strong prophetic word and I pray that this word will really locate you and really just lock into your heart so that you can hear the word that the Lord has for you. A lot of times in the most times in the body of Christ when we talk about God, we we talk of a God of circumstances. We talk of a God of conditions. We limit God to needing breakthrough in specific areas of our lives, in our finances, in our health, with our marriage, with our family. But the truth of the matter is, God is not a God that can be limited by conditions and circumstances. God is not a God that gives breakthrough based on conditions and circumstances. When God is taking the children of Israel from Egypt, into Canaan over and over and over again in the Bible starting from the book of Exodus Exodus 3 and 8 God lets them know that I am taking you into a good land God keeps referencing over and over and over the fact that where you are is going to be so far from where I'm taking you where I'm taking you is into this good land this land that is plentiful this land that is vast this land flowing with milk and honey, this land that has everything. Uh, We preach rest like we're tired, we need to take a break. But the book of Hebrews, when God is referring to rest, he refers to rest as occupancy. He refers to rest as it is done, it's finished. In Genesis, when God rested on the seventh day, he, he rested from his work, it was finished, it was finished. Rest is occupancy. And so as the Lord brought all of this forth, I want to decree over you that where God is taking you is not just about circumstances and conditions. It is a good land. It is a good land. God is shifting you into a brand new reality, so far removed from where you are. I know that there are those of you that are praying and pleading for this and that, but God wants you to really understand and see and agree. God wants you to agree to be in this good land. Your new reality is a good land. Your new is a good land. It's not just breakthrough here and breakthrough there and living from moment to moment and God, no, there are no limits with God. God wants you to agree to be having a new reality. Over and over and over again, when in the book of Deuteronomy, Moses keeps telling the children of Israel, this is a good land. This land is everything that you wanted. This land is everything that you've been praying for. There is no lack there. There is no limitations there. You get to rest. You don't have to work. It, it's ease there. It's joy there. It's light there. And God is offering you the agreement to take the limits off of him. Don't worry about how hard it's been and what it looks like. Agree with God. Agree with God that your new reality is a good land. This reality that you have for me, God, this new that you have for me, God, it is a good land. It is plentiful. It is everything. Listen, honestly, honestly, the Bible says we know it's going to be exceedingly and abundantly more than what you've been thinking and asking for. It's going to be more. It's going to be where God took the children of Israel was not even where they were asking for. They just wanted out. They couldn't comprehend what it was like to go in. So many of us are praying these prayers to get out and we don't understand the bigness of where God is saying, agree to go in, walk in, live in, shift in, agree with where you're going. Stop fighting the old. Stop crying about the old. Get that struggle out of your heart about the old. You keep wanting God to give you breakthrough here and there, and there's so much agreement with struggle. There's so much still that that devil doctrine, that all of that. God is telling that God told the children of Israel, don't worry about the giants that you face there. I got them. Just agree to go in. Just agree with the good land. Occupy the good land own the good land. Your new reality is a good land. Your new reality is a up leveling of your entire life. That is why in this house, our decree is that life goes well for us. Life goes well for us. Not just my finance. I need a breakthrough in my finances. I need a breakthrough in my body. I need a breakthrough in my marriage. No, Lord. 
Life goes well for me. The children of Israel had been oppressed hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. But when the word of deliverance came, God is saying, I'm taking you all the way from the bottom to the top. That didn't start with Drake. That's a Holy Ghost word. Do you understand me? All the way to the top. Your new reality is a good land. God wants your life to be a good land. Agree with life more abundantly. Agree with life more abundantly. Even if you have to do so through the tears, through not understanding, agree with this new reality for a good land. Stop limiting God to circumstances and conditions and can you do this and can you do that? It's no, a good land. Your new reality is a good land. It's a good land. Eyes have not seen, nor ears heard, nor can your mind comprehend the good things in store for you. Your new reality is a good land. It is a new, agree with God for the good that is coming forth, that is available, that is performing, that is for your life. 